Today we're presenting our poster entitled Testing Gender Schemas, Mere Exposure versus the Cooties. Uh, and this was a project that we uh, conducted for our Psychology 328 class uh, involving preschool children. And basically, um, we were trying to test the rigidity of gender schemas in preschool children. And we did that uh, using uh, an effect called the mere exposure effect, which uh, basically states that we tend to like things that we are familiar with. And so we wanted to test the strength of this mere exposure effect in children in uh, relationship to the rigidity of gender schemas. Um, and so we did this by um, going in and, and uh, giving kids um, scenarios coupled with pictures, uh, and Carolyn will tell you a little bit more about exactly what we did in our results. So the kids viewed six, out, uh, six images that were either gender norm consistent or gender norm inconsistent based on the child's own gender. And after viewing those images, they were then given a, a choice of six out of 12 stickers. And half the stickers were female oriented and the other half were male oriented. And then we recorded how many gender inconsistent stickers the child selected based on the images that they viewed. And um, we did find that there was no significant difference between the inconsistent and consistent groups, but we are theorizing that that's because the rigidity in the preschoolers for their gender schemas was too inflexible to capture the mere exposure effect, which is a well-documented phenomenon. And we've related that to ways that the teachers can now use this into the classroom of just trying to emphasize more of a gender neutral environment where kids can then select activities or preferences based on their own ideas as opposed to following their gender norms so that way they do have a hopes of just expanding out from that.